Hi guys, it's Wombat and this video today is not my regular type of video. This is a video that I am dedicating to those of you who are relatively new to mods uh, and in particular pro mods. Uh, pro mods is probably the biggest map mod out there today. It is a map mod that has been around for a very very long time. It is a map mod that has a large community that are working both on improving it and also on uh, adding other values to the map. Pro mods also have a, a pack of trailer skins and company skins, you could call them, I guess, uh, TCP. We are going to download and install that as well. So hopefully after this rather lengthy video, you will be able to download, extract and install Pro Mods properly, including the TCP pack. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is go to promods.net and there you'll have a start page and as you can see there are no download links anywhere here and the reason for that is that you need to register on this page. So if we click on register, you have to go through the legal mumbo jumbo you have to agree to these terms. You create a name. An email address. A password. Confirm the password. Select your language, I'm just going to go with the defaults here, and uh, yeah, why not, I'm in Africa. And then you press the submit button. And there you have it. What you need to do now is go to your Gmail account for the next step. And in your email you will then find, pretty much instantly, an email from ProMods with an activation link. You click the activation link and you're activated. Now to log in, you press the login button. And since I'm using uh, Google Chrome, I already have this remembered for me by uh, Chrome, so I just press login and all of a sudden you have a lot more things to choose from here. And the first thing we're going to do is then of course download Pro Mods. You click the download button and you start the wizard, it's a three step wizard. First thing you need to select is the language, I'm going to go with English. Then you have to generate your def file, the definitions file. And to do that, you don't click step two, you click here to generate your def file. And this step is very, very important. So we click that and you get a lot of different settings you can change. Um, most important, you check this one to add map zoom compatibility and you press this one to add support for special transport. Uh, what this means is that if you check this, there will be special transport routes on Pro Mods. But if you don't want to use special transport, if you don't have special transport, or for any other reason doesn't use special transport, you don't necessarily have to check it. 
but I do because I want the special transport routes. And the map zoom compatibility isn't really necessary anymore. Uh, it is, however, something I still check every time because I do use Rust map and uh, you might want to do that too, even though you don't necessarily have to do it even if you use Rust map. But we'll, we are going to take a little look at the other settings as well. You can, in general, just leave these as they are. Uh, but we'll go through them. Interior sound of the cabin, you can change how loud it is. Uh, twice the default, four times the default, eight times the default, and 16 times louder than the default. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that. I want the default interior sounds even when I'm on pro mods. And I don't want pro mods to make any changes to my cabin interior sounds. If I want to make changes to that, I do that with a mod, not the def file from pro mods. Damage level set to default. Again, you can change to no damage or double damage, but I want to use the defaults. If I want no damage, I'm going to use a separate mod for that. Vegetation drawing distance is something that you might want to change. Uh, I do in general go with standard drawing distance. Um, for those of you who have a potato, you might want to go for low spec PC uh, settings. Or if you have an uh, i9-9900 series prop processor, you could go for ultra drawing distances. Um, but in general, standard drawing distance is just fine. Color settings. You can change the advisor map, uh, different settings for the maps. Uh, again, I'm gonna go with defaults. You can change these to whatever you like. Uh, but to me, that is, I'm, I'm quite happy with the default settings of the game anyway. So I'm not gonna change any of these, but if you want to change these, go ahead and knock yourself out. As soon as you are happy with the settings for the def file you press the generate button and the def file is then downloaded you can then close this window and continue to step two of the download there are two options here for downloading the game you can either go for the fast option, which is going to cost you one euro, which is nothing. If time is money, one euro isn't anything. The alternative to doing a fast download, one single file, is to go for the slow option, which is seven files and very, very slow downloads. Uh, to be honest, I never use the slow option. I always use the fast option and I spend that euro because using, spending one euro uh, allows you to download the 1.6 gigabytes of data in five minutes and or less. It is literally going to take you hours downloading these files. There are also one extra the trailer and company pack i generally do not use it and i generally if i download it use the slow option uh, the file is pretty small compared to these anyway so i uh, spending say 15 20 minutes downloading this one is fine Make sure that you don't download more than two files at the time. And um, well, let's have a look and see how slow this is. Uh, so we're starting with the first file here, 250 megabytes. And there we go, it is starting. And it's gonna take 
15 minutes or so to download this file. And while that is downloading, you can add a second file and download that as well. But don't start all of these downloads at the same time. If you do, you will have problems. The files won't be correctly downloaded. You might even get banned for a limited time if you try to download more than two files at a time. While we wait, we can go back to the start page here and talk a little bit about the ProMods file testing tool. This is a tool that I've never used, but again, I am using the fast option, so there is really no use for, for that file. But if you are using the slow option, it is probably recommended that you download and use this testing tool if you have any problems extracting the files later on. And what the testing tool does, uh, this tool, let's extract it. And have a look at it. So this is a exe file, which in itself is kind of scary. I really don't like downloading exe files and running them. Uh, but here is a small explanation of what the exe file does. So you put this file in the same folder as the downloaded files. It checks all of them to verify and, and double click it and it then verifies that the checksums of these seven uh, zip files you downloaded promos files you downloaded are the correct size so if any of these are listed as not okay that means you will have to download that specific file again there is no need to download all the files if some of the files are reported as being okay they are good you will only have to re-download the files that doesn't say okay to the left of the file name going back to download you'll see that yeah it's still not completed uh, and it still says at least 10 minutes left so uh, we're gonna let this thing run for a while and um, I'll get back to you as soon as we have downloaded all the files and in the middle of the download I noticed that file number three failed with a network error so um, yeah um, that is something that happens and that is why we need the exe file to verify the uh, checksums for for the downloads um in this case i got lucky it's clearly visible here that there was a network error so i will have to re-download file number three but in many cases you won't see these failed network error messages uh, so um yeah, I'm gonna restart the download of this file. So finally we have all the files downloaded and in this folder we have all seven files including the re-downloaded 003 file. I strictly don't have to have the definitions file here but it is here together with the checksums exf and testfiles.exe so we're gonna double click this one let's see what happens it is testing the files i have and this step takes a while but it was well worth it all the files are okay so my download is now complete and hopefully working i will be able to extract it 
it took about an hour to download these files and again these downloads were done on a good day imagine when version 2.40 is released it's not gonna be something you can complete in an hour uh, but we click close here and then we're going to extract these files and I can use either WinRAR or 7-zip it doesn't really matter what matters is that you are using the latest version of these files so I'm gonna go ahead and use 7-zip and extract here um, this means that file 0023456 and 7 will be extracted automatically there is no reason to down to extract or try to extract the 002 file or 0034567 separately it won't work so just right click the 001 file and extract that one and the rest of the archive will be extracted automatically And there we go, 100% extracted, no errors whatsoever. If you also downloaded the TCP files, trucks and companies, traders and companies file, you extract that in the same way, separately, and you'll end up with quite a few TCP files there. And we're gonna go through them separately. I personally don't use the TCP files uh, I prefer to add um, the files from other mod creators instead. Um, if you extract it, you'll see that I'm asked to replace the readme file, and that is quite alright. Both the TCP file and the ProMods download includes a readme file. I never read those files anyway, so I don't really care. You can rename it if you like, but yeah just replace it I'm not gonna read it anyway so there we have it you end up with 13 files the SCS files are the files you will cut go to my documents your truck simulator 2 mod and there's a lot in mine and then paste them in there so the order of which you add these files uh, there are a couple of ways you can do this uh, today I'm going to add the assets file to the bottom followed by models package 1 2 3 media map and definition package so there you have all seven promods files added now if you want to use the tcp package it contains six files of which you can use a maximum of five five files if you want to use the trailers you don't have to use trailers and company you can select either company or trailers or both but i'm going to say we're going to use both so the first file you need to add on top of promods is the trailer package on top of that you add the main trailer definitions and then you have to choose if you want to use the replacement or standalone trailer definition the difference is that replacement does what it says it replace all the trailers in game default trailers that is uh, this one the standalone adds uh, files instead so you will have both what is in game and and um, additional then from from pro mods uh, i'm gonna go with standalone and if you want to add even more trailers above uh, or together with the TCP pack 
you add those trailers above the ProMods TCP package. So as you stack other trailer mods on top of these, you thereafter add the company files, which is a lot easier. You have the company package and then the company definition files. So these five files or replace that one and add that one instead. So either the replacement trader definition or the standalone trader definitions can be added. In between the company package and the trailer package, you then add all other trailers you want to use. So that is the setup for the TCP package as well. Before we look at what ProMods includes, here is the base map and the five map DLCs. I have 100% of the game uh, explored. So all roads and all cities are yellow. And if we then add pro mods, what you then end up with is a map that looks completely different. <laughs> all the grey cities here and all the grey roads are added by pro mods. Now in some cases, especially in this area here, it is either rewritten um, roads and or cities, and in some cases also added roads and cities. Uh, you'll also notice that this area is completely new as well as this area here. London huge remake. You have Ireland added as well as Scotland. You have a large chop of Scandinavia, Finland and Murmansk and yeah, Russian hair uh, added. And what looks like the Baltics and Southern Finland have been remade, but it hasn't. What ProMods in its current version does is that it totally overwrites the Baltics DLC. So ProMods in its current version, and that would be one, sorry, 2.33, does not use the Baltics DLC. That is going to change in the next update of the map. So in your case, if this map had been 2.40, ProMods 2.40, we would have had all these cities uh, in the color yellow instead for explored, as well as the roads, possibly with a few additions like uh, Balvi, Gulbaini, to Count Soldus, Ogri, and these cities here um, uh, would be great because they aren't part of the DLC. Hopefully, Promos will add them back in. Another another couple of very very interesting things is that we have Svalbard and we have Iceland. Great additions to the game. ProMods adds a lot to the map and in general what they add holds a very high standard. And that is something you can see from these images here. I'm on my way from Honningsvåg in uh, northern Norway in Finnmark to Finland right now and I am I was born in Norway, I grew up there. I know a little bit about no Norway and the roads we have there. And I can totally vouch for pro mods here. This looks a lot like Norway. With the exception of the cold and the mosquitoes, which is a good thing. So um, yeah, this is pro mods for you. And with that said, I think we are done for the day. Uh, I do apologize for this video being bonkers long, uh, but I wanted to cover most of the questions you might have regarding ProMods and I hope I have covered all of them here. 
so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so subscribe as well as always feel free to share my videos on all your social medias i'm honored when you do and um, i hope to see you guys again next time take care everyone bye bye